Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. Today, we have a big Conference USA showdown in store. As we'll see, the Liberty Flames taking on the Kennesaw State Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Kennesaw State ready to kick it off and get this game going. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Flames offense will get the first possession of the game. Here he comes. At any time this guy touches the ball, and he will touch it plenty, a bolt of electricity just goes through the stadium, David. And uh, they'll feature him. They'll give him the ball, like you said, a lot early, often. And he's a guy that can make game-breaking plays. The offense is built around his ability to run the football, Jesse, make big plays for this offense. Yeah, he really shoulders the load, right, in more ways than one. The offense goes as this guy goes. So it's going to be important in this one. They get him going going early and often. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Salter. Got the quick pass. Still running at the 40. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. The give to the back. Still on his feet at the 45. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Flames will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, I'm going to have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you got to get locked in in the red zone. A lot of defense coordinators will tell you, we'll give up yards, but we got to understand what we're trying to get accomplished. Great job down here near the goal line. This defense bowing their neck up and getting a big stop. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. Tries again to get it in. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. They keep pushing forward down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. The attempt is no good. Kicker tried to tack a few more on the scoreboard, guys. You couldn't do it. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. 
The offense set for a first down play. The lone back's got it. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run the counter. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, this is a defense that prides themselves on stopping the run, and that is a huge statement on their opponent's opening drive of the game. Third and short, they don't just get a stop. They get a tackle for loss. That sends a very clear message that they're going to be the more physical side today. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. On the ground with the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think a lot of times when offenses run these counters, you're going to fake one way, right? Pull guys the other direction. If you can get some penetration really quickly, get behind those pullers, you got a chance to get in the backfield, just like right there, and create a TFO. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Fights off a defender. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Wants to throw. It's Salter getting some heat. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. We're already in the first quarter, but already you get the feeling this could be a long day for this QB. He's already been sacked. He gets hit right there on the incomplete throw. They've got to find a way to do a better job up front of protecting this guy, or it's going to be difficult to put up points. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Give to the running back. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. Trying to find his man on first down. Complete to the left. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. They'll try the run. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Handoff to the single running back. 
And the defense snows him under after a very short game. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? To throw, it's Bryson. They're trying to get to him. Trying to make magic with his feet. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Oh, it's just so frustrating on the defense. I mean, you got, you got great initial coverage. You understand third and short. The ball might come out fast, and then what does the quarterback do? Scrambles around, buys time, gets the first down pretty easily. Now you got a new fresh set of downs and a new fresh set of problems. They'll give it to the back. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up, and they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for loss. They had this drive going, but they face a second and 15. He's looking to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They get him down after he makes the catch. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Now facing a third and long. Now the play fake. That's caught. It's Kent. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range. But now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. Kennesaw State has a chance now on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Go straight ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Owls! There have been miniseries, novels, movies, long-form plays that have been over in a shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And that's just so frustrating when you're a defensive guy time and time again trying to get the stops, and they just keep making the plays, and they punch it in for a touchdown? Demoralizing. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. From the gun, running back gets to give. At the 35, he's open. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Not much can impose your will on a defense like popping a big run. Especially when they know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. They're more physical up front in the trenches. And this running back and his ability to break tackles, 
That is just so demoralizing for this defense. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Going to the running game. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down and second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. The Flames send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Dances away from the D. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Here's the handoff. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Going to the ground. Jukes his way for more. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Third and short coming here right from the midfield strike. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. The defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How will they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now, you got to figure out what they're doing. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. The give to the running back from the shotgun. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off the play fake. There, and the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. 
Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Flushed out of the pocket. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. Never a doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he's going to try to return this one. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stock follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? No, he just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pressure coming. Buys a little extra time. He'll pull it down and run. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. And the Flames have it with a first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run the toss. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Offense goes toss play to the right. Now, defensively, if you're going to stop these perimeter runs, your DBs better be able to get off blocks and go make a tackle. And right now, this secondary, they look like they're struggling trying to handle the run game. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. Starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Yeah, and I think the comeback route when you run it against man is so hard to defend because I'm that DB. I'm thinking, I can't get beat deep. I can't get beat deep. And then all of a sudden, he slams on the brakes and comes back to the football. Really hard route to defend. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom. I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. 
And here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, the ground game. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. They need one yard on third down to keep this one going. This will be the eighth play of the drive. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, Blumen making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. And he's coming out of the end zone, continues to fight for yards, and the returner will be knocked down. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. You see it in football all the time, right? I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Unloads to the right. Got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. This is why quarterbacks always take care of their offensive line. This is why they feed them in the offseason, invite them to the house, buy them gifts, take care of the big boys, because they take care of you, and those numbers start to pile up. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He'll keep it himself. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. Yeah, and after the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays, he decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? So after the first down run, here's second down. Looking downfield, it's Salter. Escapes trouble. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Those play-action passes take a little bit longer to develop, right? Because you still have the fake. And then the quarterback turns his back to the defense, has to reset. you got to protect him a little bit better than that. Or the fake's got to be a lot better. A third and long coming up here.
from the gun, wants to pass. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. The Flames will call on their punt team. And that punt will make its way into the end zone, and they'll put it in play from their own 20. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. The give to the back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll go right back to it. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Facing a third down and short from the 26. To the air, it's Bryson. Fires to the big fella. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. It's a really nice job in coverage defensively there because that tight end, he wasn't really even open. Quarterback just still tried to put it on him and, and give him an opportunity, but great tackle short of the stick setting up fourth down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. Tight end finds a soft spot. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Well, the offense is trying to throw for it in their own end on third down, and quarterback receiver not quite on the same page, and they're lucky because that was almost picked up. And the Flames will send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. 
He'll call for the fair catch here. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter in there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking to throw at Salter. Dances away to buy time. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate. And you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes. They do it with ease. Four punts already. And they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Got it set up on the outside. Got room at the 35. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. The Flames have it with a first and ten. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. To the ground with the back. Breaks the tackle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next and to the next and to the next. The offensive line going to have to do a lot better job, giving him some more space so he can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Feeling some heat. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Running toward the tape. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. And the Flames are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Hides a crease at the 20. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. The Flames trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. To the air, it's Salter. Bought a little time, lets it go. Touchdown, Liberty! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Ready to try the point after.
bangs it through for an extra point. So a drive there of 84 yards, and they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Back to throw, it's Bryson. Now improvising. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. He's going to look for a man on third and short. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. He'll pull it down. At the 45 on his way. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. Looking for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Yeah, and that's nice coverage. He's taking a shot, trying to throw the ball to the end zone. Maybe put that thing up a little bit higher where his guy can go up and make a play and come down. But a nice job by the defender just getting his fingertip on the top of the football. On second down, wants to throw it. Buys a little time with his feet. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. What a disappointment. No good. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. Oh, and that ball just inches away from being in every highlight around the country. That was an absolute bomb. Just couldn't quite get it far enough. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. He wants to throw. Fires one high and deep. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Kennesaw and a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor-thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, 
generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that dub. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. And the Flames will line up to kick off and start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Fowler, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And as a defensive player, you see so much option nowadays and so many different variants of it. And you got to play very disciplined, sound football. And you could tell he knew he was responsible for the quarterback. He goes and gets him, sits him on the ground, creates a tackle for a loss. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Man, how about the offense, man? You run a little play action. I, I can just tell you, third and long as a pass rusher, I'm going to get the quarterback. I don't care about the play action. I'm not biting on it, and neither did the defense. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. Give to the back. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Might as well give it to him again. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this quarterback has had a little bit of success running so far in this game. That time when the option play, nowhere to go, though. Defense, they were in position. They tackled him for a loss. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. And the offense tries to slip in the screen. That's a good play on third and short if you can get them aggressive and a defense aggressive. But the defense sniffed it out, shut that play down before it even started. The Flames will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. He makes the connection. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Wonder if they'll be conservative on first and 10. 
power football with the run. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Bryson. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot. And these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working. Ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to quote the great philosopher, Reese Davis, this is very ungood. Just nothing working for this offense, Palmer. They got to find something. Well, the, the plays look good against the scout team during the week in practice, but they have just not been able to find a rhythm against this defense today. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. They go to the ground. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. It'll be a draw. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. And the Flames decide to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Feels the punt and try to pick up some yards. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. To the air, it's Bryson. Oh, he makes a catch. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Running back searching for a hole. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The play action fake. Caught. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. Buys a little time. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Kennesaw State hopes to be wise here in the red zone. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They get him stopped after a two-yard game. Ball is at the 17. Here on third down, you might want to protect the field goal, but you have to stay aggressive. Tackled, but he has a first down. They'll run this play from the pistol. Leaves it with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Hand off to the lone back. Pick up of one. It's down at the 11. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking for a man. It's Bryson. He caught it. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. And that one will give him the lead. Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the button, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the quarterback. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense.
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking to throw, it's Salter. Gets it out fast. He stopped at the 45 after picking up 10 yards and the first down. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. The Flames with the first and 10. From the gun. Give on the inside. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you even start to feature them more and more in the passing game. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. He'll come out throwing on first down. A little screen to the running back. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. That was just a perfectly choreographed screen. The line got out on time. The running back had a wall in front of it. And I think the quarterback did a really good job of selling pass and then kind of dodging the pass rush, getting it to the running back, and then let him do the rest. You got him in space, he'll pick up yards in a hurry. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw, it's Salter. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Third and goal coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his big tight end. And that is good versatility there, and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. Splits the uprights. It's good. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening, run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, Dave. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Back to throw. It's Bryson. They're setting up the screen. No siree, not this time. The defense was there and ready for that one. Well, they're trying to set up the screen pass to the running back, just nowhere to go after he caught the football. The defense completely swarmed around him, and that's a loss. 
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He lost one down the sideline. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. Oh, big juke to get past. A really good return after the interception puts them in business at the 29. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. Here comes the offense on first down. Use the play fake now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Flames. The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. On to attempt the try. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Strike quickly, and they did. One play, and they put it on the board. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was just a breath from taking that one all the way, and he'll run that momentum right into the fourth quarter. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll run it. Smashes through. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. To the air. It's Bryson. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And you can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Turns it on in midfield. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. How about the left side of the line getting off the ball, creating some holes for that running back to get through, make the big play on the handoff to the left? When something works that well, you might as well go right back to it. I mean, they showed no indication that they could stop it. I like to go back to it and hurry up, get to the line of scrimmage quick, run it again. Well, this guy's a weapon, throwing it and running it, and you know he's going to try to hurt this defense with his legs. It puts so much stress on the defensive line to chase him and the fact that the play is extended so long. 
Yeah, if they've got a spy defensively, if someone's athletic enough to run with this guy, that's going to be maybe a, a sound move moving forward schematic. On second down, looking to throw. Hides his back in the middle. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. And they're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. It is hard to get sacks on screens. I mean, the offensive linemen stay with you for a little bit. Defensive linemen squirt through. A lot of times they read the screen and backpedal. Not on this one. They got through, got to the quarterback, got him on the ground. Not good execution by the offense, but it still counts as a sack. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Looking to throw at Salter. Fires to the right. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. I think as a quarterback, you get in your mind before the snap a lot of times where you're going with the football, and sometimes you lock on it a little bit too long, and right there I think he did. He'd probably want that throw back. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. Across the 25, he's got room. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside delivers the contact he's all the way down to the three showed it all on that run another good run man he has been picking up yards in bunches today jesse showing off all the skills and he's showing no signs of slowing down david this guy just gets better as the game goes on he is a beast so this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammer lock if they can score into the end zone he goes touchdown liberty up and over Yamo be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They took it 71 yards down the field and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They'll go to the ground. Picks his way ahead. He'll get five out to the 17-yard line. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking downfield, it's Bryson. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. They've got the weapons to stay aggressive. You just made a big play. Let's see if we can take a shot here into the end zone, score, and try to save as much time on the clock as we can. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He leaves it with the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Good 
good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. And he can't escape, and down he goes. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking deep down the right side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run it from the gun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. Trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Finds his big tight end. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. The hand to the running back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to pass. It's Salter. Steps away. He'll try to do it himself. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Offense working from the pistol. They'll try to run for it. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. I really like what I see from this offense with the lead in the fourth quarter, and they're moving the sticks. This is now the sixth play of the drive, and they've been able to stay on, bleed clock. They want to just continue doing exactly what they're doing right now. And the Flames have this offense rolling. They're going to ride this running back. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. He'll do it himself. <laughs> and the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the stick. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. 
from the gun, running back on the move. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Power ahead. Touchdown, Flames! And they take it in for six more points. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. He'll try to tack on one more. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. He's looking to throw it. He's got the back in the middle. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. From the 17, it's second and seven. Back to pass, it's Bryson. Dances away from the heat. Quarterback gets the first down. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. Man, that's so frustrating, and it happens so fast. He just pulls it down, it looks like pass, he pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards, so much speed, so hard to stop. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Looking to move it through the air. Dances away. Still on his feet at the 45. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. These guys aren't human aid. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. To the air on first down. Steps away to find some room. At the 40, there he goes! What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Now he's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Wallace. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Looking to throw on second down. Buys a little time. He's going to take off. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive rolling. Now from inside the red zone. Pocket starts, and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well, and they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. It. 
Kennesaw State right back to work. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Second down after the offense recovered its own fumble. Scanning the field, it's Bryson trying to get to it. And this defense is bringing the heat another sack. You know, for this quarterback late in the game, you just need to have a better concept of the situation. Can't take sacks at this juncture. And I know that the play gets thrown off, the timing's off, and you're forced to roll out. But if nobody's open, either run the ball, get what you can, get out of bounds, or throw that thing away. Can't take negative plays at this point. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for Unleashes one deep. And it's incomplete. The long pass downfield they couldn't hook up. First down here for the offense. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. That's got to be demoralizing if you're the defense. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll leave it with him. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. <laughs> 